the podcast to your places. Get the launch system ready. Welcome to Mr. Tinkerbot Laboratories, where we are promoting and developing the latest in technology to improve your world every day. Today we have an easy project that anyone can do at home in just a few minutes with stuff you have laying around your house. Today we are going to do the ball launching system developed by Active Media Group for Mark Neiser 3D. It consists of basically a few simple items. The first item is the launch system itself, which consists of a titanium tube available at any space station or polymer laboratory. Uh, in the titanium tube, we have a launch mechanism arming pole, a steel hook to attach to the launching platform, a securing tether to attach it directly to the bottom of the launching platform, and the bungee-driven launch system. It is quite dangerous. Uh, we don't recommend this for children or anyone between the ages of, say, 1 and I'd say 80 would probably be a good place to start. The second part of the launching system is perhaps the most ingenious. This involves a wire to trigger it through the relay coming from the computer, and as such to secure it to the launching platform, a little servo motor to trigger the hair trigger, which we're using a bow and arrow hair trigger, which is absolutely amazing. Very sensitive though, can't touch it or it will arm and fire, could injure you or actually could kill you. So very dangerous and a small 3 volt battery to drive the server motor. The entire system will be triggered by an iPhone uh, wirelessly and conveniently. These are easy to find. You can just grab one on eBay for a couple bucks and uh, should be no problem. The final product uh, parts you're going to need for your, for your system is a uh, aileron device to adjust the height of the launching tube, a bracket to support the uh, chair to extend the launching bungee cord, and finally a adjustment for the back of the launching system. We're going to head out to the field now and begin some lab testing and you can see the device in action. All right everybody, let's head outside. Here we are at the proving grounds. We're going to attempt to uh, demonstrate this incredible product and how you can get one yourself uh, available online shortly. Uh, you take the, the chair, any folding chair will work, any chair for that matter will work, you have lots of adjustability in there, you have flexibility, it keeps you from having to travel with the chair. Um, in this case we're using just a simple yoga chair. Uh, we're going to flip it over on its uh, stomach like this. First you need to attach the launch cross support. Uh, it is adjustable so you can adjust it for various uh, chairs that you do run into. Uh, it's going to go on right like this, and this is where we're going to attach the ball launching system itself. That's going to go in the main hook here, like this. Uh, we're then going to attach the tether to uh, keep it from snapping back when the ball launches. So we're going to tie that down here to the very bottom. There is going to be quite a bit of torque on it, so you want to make sure that's plenty tight uh, to keep it from uh, losing some of the momentum when the ball is going to be launched uh, in, the, uh, in the event of actual launching. <coughs> Maybe tether it up. Looks good. All right, check that for snugness. We then attach the uh, aileron device to balance the length of this to the exact height of what we're going to need when we're actually going to fire this. You can see this is actually a little loose again. Uh, I could adjust that again if needed. Uh, that's good there. Uh, we are then going to attach the launching mechanism. Uh, this is the most difficult part of the project. Uh, you want to keep your wires clear so you don't get those tangled up in the guts of it. And uh, loading the uh, thing is a little complicated. You need to open it up first. It is a hair trigger, and you, this way you can reach in through the loading hole and uh, bring that up here. And here you're going to attach the uh, hook that we have, the little loop, to the uh, actual piece. Got a hook there. This does, once it has pressure on it, it will not release. So you want to keep some pressure on there. And then you're going to just simply, easy to load. Again, anyone can do this. It's simple, not difficult at all. You pull on it as far as you possibly can, and you're going to hook it back across the back hook here. And now it is armed. So you want to definitely warn people to stay away so they don't get killed when they walk near the thing. Uh, I am now going to add the adjustment arm to it here. And this is the perfect height, I believe, for today's launch. 
Uh, maybe, maybe even a little higher would be good, but uh, we're going to do it right about there. Looks good. We're going to take the uh, cable and connect this to our servos on our computer. The most important part, of course, is to load the launcher. Today we're going to be launching a severed limb. Preparing the iPhone to launch and it shall commence in just a moment. Going to step off screen here, it is quite dangerous. We have to be careful uh, at all launches that someone is killed, obviously. All right, prepare for launch, everybody. We've had a successful launch. It's worked beautifully. It's incredible working with these kind of products. So safe, very stable. Obviously, uh, may need to be reloaded, but uh, we're going to give this a, a 10 out of 10.